best thing about Apple Crisp is that you get all the flavors of apple pie, but you don't have to mess around rolling out pie dough. It only takes about 20 minutes to put together, and because it's practically foolproof, anyone can make it. Start with about two and a half pounds of apples. I'm using Tart Granny Smith and Sweet Golden Delicious because I like their flavors and textures together. But there's no hard and fast rules. A good guideline is just to choose an apple that's firm and that when you bake it, it holds its shape. Just remember to avoid Fuji's and Red Delicious because although you might like to eat them out of hand, they bake up mushy and flavorless. Now you need to peel, core, and thinly slice the apples. And here in the Chow Test Kitchen, we use this fast method. First, peel them using a regular vegetable peeler. Next, stand the apple stem side up and cut off one side, avoiding the very center. Now lay the apple on the flat side and cut off another side, avoiding the center again. Turn and slice on the flat sides two more times until you have just the core left. Now you can easily slice the apples into uniform pieces. Now throw the slices into a big bowl along with two to three tablespoons of sugar, three quarters teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and an eighth a teaspoon of fine salt. Toss the apples until they're coated and dump them into a buttered eight by eight inch baking dish. Now you're gonna make the streusel. This topping is really convenient because it's made with a bunch of stuff you probably already have laying around in your pantry. Grab the bowl from the apples and don't even bother washing it out and mix together a half a cup of light brown sugar, a half a cup of rolled oats, a third cup of flour, and an eighth a teaspoon of fine salt. Then add four tablespoons of cold, unsalted butter that's been cut into small pieces. Mix it together with your hands until it forms small clumps and the butter is evenly distributed. Unlike pie dough, you really want to get into this mixture and form the clumps with your hands because if you don't do that, you're going to end up with just melted butter and a dusty flour topping instead of the nice crispy streusel morsels that you want. Now sprinkle this over the apples, breaking it into nice uniform pieces so you have a good streusel blanket on there. And then just throw it in the oven and let it cook for about 50 minutes to an hour. Now you have a simple but delicious apple crisp. You've got tender and bubbling apples, it's got a little bit of cinnamon flavor and buttery crunchy streusel. You can serve it warm with a little whipped cream on top for a cozy fall dessert or even just for a holiday potluck. And that's it, the easiest way to make apple crisp.